Hi everyone, for this video I'm going to make my simple and easy butter garlic mashed potatoes. And we're gonna do home style. You don't have to buy boxed mashed potatoes if you don't want to. All you need is some russet potatoes, which I have here. They're just sitting in some water because it helps to keep them from going brown. And I'm going to cut mine up because it helps to cut down on the cooking time. I'm gonna boil them until they're done, soft enough for me, and then we're gonna mash them up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut them, and then we're gonna go ahead and boil them. Okay, you all, for this simple and easy recipe, again, you need your potatoes, however many you're gonna cook. I have mine cut up. I just wanted you to kind of see the size of them. And the only reason why I cut them is to cut back on the cooking time, like I said. So I'm gonna add those in my pot. I think I used about five um, kind of medium to medium small potatoes. I have one stick of butter. I always use unsalted butter. So I'm gonna add half of one of, half of the stick, excuse me. One chicken bouillon and some of my garlic and herb seasoning. Now the only thing I always use is the butter, the bouillon, or I'll use chicken broth. But I'm gonna use water today with my chicken bouillon. And this is the seasoning I'm gonna use, my garlic, or black pepper, and sea salt. And you would just season it how you want. I have some fresh garlic also that I'm gonna add in. I'm gonna use four cloves all together. But to cook in here, I'm gonna add two. And then we'll add the other two and all I'm doing is crushing it to break it open. It makes it easier to peel it. I'm gonna add that in, the rest of my water. I'm gonna let these boil. I'll let mine boil roughly about 10 to 12 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll do the last part of it, which is the best part. Okay, you all, it's been 12 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain my potatoes. Before I turn them off, I did just check the texture of my potatoes. So it's important you do that because you want to make sure the texture is how you want it before you just snatch it off the stove. So I'm going to go ahead and drain it and then we'll mix them up. Okay, now that I've drained them, I'm going to add in my butter. I left my fresh garlic in here with the potatoes, just so you know. And I'm just going to use my fork to mash my potatoes up. So just, you just want to mash them real good or if you have a wire whisk or however you want to, you know, get them all mashed up. I mean, y'all, this is so easy. Once I discovered how to make my own potatoes some time ago, you know, nothing against the box mash or I think they have some really good flavors in some of those bags, but I don't know. The homemade mashed potatoes to me are always the best you can make it taste how you want. All right, I have my heavy cream here I'm gonna add. I'm gonna mix that in, and I'm gonna also add some more of my seasoning. So I'm gonna mix this up together. Okay, you all, and that's pretty much it. Of course, y'all know I added a little more butter to mine, <laughs> but deliciousness. I did taste it, I'm gonna taste a little more. It's just so good, y'all. I can sit and eat this whole pot. Mmm. Oh, my Jesus. Woo! You got to try it. It's too easy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is really good. All right, you all. That's it for the mashed potatoes. Thanks so much for watching, and you have a wonderful, blessed evening.